If you want to know how you can make an obby game within 30 minutes, make sure to like and subscribe and watch the entire video and I will show you how to make an obby game under 30 minutes. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Newbie and in this video we're going to be making the obby series as you can see over here. Uh, we're going to be doing a few things. We're going to make some stages, spawn uh, points, uh, a leaderboard, a spectate system and a position stage system. And that should be around it. So first of all, you want to actually uh, make a... Hold on, let me close all this stuff because my OBS is about to crash. Yeah, okay, it's not crashing anymore. So you want to make a... Um, you want to make a screen GUI. And you want to insert a text button, I believe. Do you need a text button? I think so. Yes, you do. Not a text... Ew, newbie. Text button. And it doesn't care for me if it's not positioned correctly. And 8.5, 8.5. Uh, that's a bit offset. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna call this one open. I'm just gonna like do the one I made in my previous tutorial out about the, about the mini game system. Can I move it, please? Just let me move it! It's not hard to let me move it! Okay, good. Can I move it? Okay, actually, what what do you want? Studio, stop! Okay, can I now move it? Okay, studio hates me for real. Okay, time to use my secret thingies. Alright, zero comma zero comma zero comma zero. And then I want this to 500. That's a little bit too much. 100, no. Well, we kind of need it like only 50. And then next. Spectate. Text scaled. Gotham Black. Uh, open visible zero though and change this name to next and it's sort of a local script over here uh, the only thing I want to type is script dot parent of mouse mode one click colon connect function of nothing if script dot parent dot next dot visible is equal to, equals to false then script dot parent dot next dot visible is equal to true else if script.parent.next that visible is x equals to true, then game dot workspace dot camera dot camera subject is equal to game dot players dot local player dot character script.parent.next that visible is equals to false. And this is uh, for an open button. So if if you're if the next button is not open, we're gonna make it visible. But if it's open. Um, we want it so you your camera resets to your position and so you're not staying on your own on, on the person you're aiming for like that's not what you want you know local player is equals to game dot players dot local player local character is equals to game dot players colon find first child player dot name local camera is equals to game dot workspace dot camera Number equals to zero and on equals to zero. Script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect to the function of nothing. So we're just gonna keep it empty. On equals to zero still. Local players, keep in mind you put that S there. Work game dot workspace dot uh, game wait no uh, game dot workspace dot Ooh, um, oh, let me think. Uh, players, uh, folder, players in game. Game of workplace, uh, players in game, colon, uh, get children. Number is equals to number, not number sequence, plus one. If number is equals equals to players, 
plus one, and then number equals to one. For i equals one, hashtag players do on equals on plus one. If on is equals equals to the number, then camera camera subject because then a player is i. Ah, uh, you won. Let's see. Ah, uh, you want to make a uh, a script and workspace. Um, player handler. Game dot players dot game dot players dot player added comma connect function. Plr. Uh, Plr dot character. If char then um, char dot parent is equals to game dot workspace dot players in game, and let's test this out. Well, while true do Let me just test this out real quick because if it's not working, we of course fix the problems. And yes, there's bloopers in these series, I know. As you see, our player is in the player's end game. No errors. Alrighty, so that is one thing done. Now we have to do the second thing. And that is a position saver. So you want to make a script. Position save. Uh, position data store. Sorry. Local DS is equals to game. Come and get service. Data store service, of course. Local DS1 is equals to DS. Come and get data store. Not ordered, but get data store. Position saving system. And I recommend you to follow me. No, number sequence newbie, what are you doing? Into the player. Local val is equal to instance that new a vector three value. Uh, into the player. Val that name is equal to uh, position. Local user data. Pcal function. Pcal is like a detection if the game breaks. Uh, it's gonna do the last thing and then your game can be completely destroyed because the Pcal picked it up. Data, uh, user data, sorry, equals the DS1 can get async player dot user ID. If user data, then game dot workspace. Come on, wait for child player dot name. Come on, wait for child humanoid root part. Uh, dot C frame is equals to C frame dot new. User data dot X. User data dot Y and user data dot Z. And that should be it. Yep. Uh, we're not done yet here. Else, DS1, comma, set async, player dot user ID, comma, and then that thing, uh, x equals to zero, y equals to three, and uh, z or z, I say z, is equals to zero. Game of players, a player removing. We'll connect to the function of another player and then ds1 colon uh, set async player user id comma and then that x equals the player dot position dot value dot x y is player dot position dot value dot y and uh, z is equals the player dot position dot value dot z And this is your first thing done. What we actually want to do is... Oh, come on, it broke again. Well, anyways, you just want to click on game settings and then find your data store and then just click on enable. That's how easy it is. And then you want to go over here and you want to type position updater. Because we're not done yet. So, remove this. And all you want to do is game the player, the player add a connect to the function of another player. 
Local Val is the player. Come on, wait for child position. Player dot character added. Come on, connect to the function of char. Uh, while true do, wait one. Val dot value is equal to game. Uh, sorry, char clone. Wait for child. Humanoid root part dot um, dot position. So what this does is every second it's gonna change your value from the position uh, to where you are. And over here we're just gonna get that data store. And then once you rejoin, um, the x is going to be the x of the position value, and you get the point. You you, you should get the point. So now you want to make some checkpoints, and we're going to, of course, use some Roblox assets. Because without Roblox assets, this ain't, this ain't not even possible. You get my point. Uh, we're going to type an actually really long script. So we're going to go into uh, workspace. Well, actually, you want to make a part, and then this is going to be your spawn location. Well, not spawn location, but your checkpoint. And you let me... I Roblox... Oh, come on! Oh, why is, why is Roblox so broken sometimes? Okay, anyways, you want to make this a 1. And then, uh, you want to insert one script. And I want to type, well, <laughs> it's kind of long. Um, well, actually, I'm going to put that script in the description, because um, this script is from Roblox, and you, you don't have to type Roblox scripts. And then boom. And what's you want to do? Local. Um, well, you can you can choose. If, do you want like credits or money? Well, I say money value. Well, I say credits value. Six to ten. Function ot. Uh, function ot hit. If hit the parent is other than nail, then uh, local player is the game the players player from her. Well, player from character. It's not a Roblox thing, but just do what I say. Hit the parent. If the if player is other than nil, then if player dot leader stats dot point well dot credits no dot stage dot value is equal to the script dot parent dot name minus one then. Local H is equals. Uh, local H hit the parent. Uh, come on, find first child. Ah, uh, human one. If H is other than nothing, then if H dot health is other than uh, zero, then player dot leader stats dot stage dot value is equal to script dot parent dot name. And player dot leader stats dot credit dot value is it because the players dot leader stats dot um player dot leader stats and dot credits dot value plus credits value and now what you want to do is script the parent dot script the parent dot touched colon connect to ot and checkpoint dot touch colon connect to on touched. And this is your script done. But of course, you're not even done yet because why would you be done? You know? So, all you want to do is go into. Uh, you want to duplicate another one. You want to name it Leader Stats. Ay, Leader Stats incoming. Do 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 Game the player is the player add up. Come on, connect to the function. Player, you get the drill. Local. Leader Stats is equals to instance that new and inval. In value? Why an in value? It's a folder. Come on. Uh, insert a player. Leader stats. Dot name is equal to leader stats. Local stage is equal to instance. Dot new in value. Uh, into a leader stats. Stage. Dot name is equal to uh, stage. Uh, stage. Dot parent is equal to. Wait, we already did that. What the crap, newbie? Stage. Dot value is equal to zero. Local. Credits is equal to instance that new in value into the leader stats. Credits dot name is equal to credits and uh, credits dot parent. Credits dot value is equal to zero. Because we're of course saying everything to zero. And I just want to move my part. Come on. 
Oh my. Is it seriously this hard? Roblox. Okay, uh, 45. Sure. And I want a spawn location right over here. So we can test this out. Uh, play here. Alrighty. So if we go for here, we should get nothing. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Uh, line forty. Okay, line forty. Sure. Oh, hit that para, not paranda. Uh, oh, player. Sorry for these mistakes. I'm also a human, okay? I'm not an alien. Okay, so... Um... Okay, let's see. So, if we should- if we go over this part, we're getting one stage and zero credit! Le oh my- Am I seriously this dumb? Okay, I don't even know how to code properly, as you can see. Uh, player the leader, leader stats. Oh, newbie, why are you so dumb? Alrighty, uh, as again, I am sorry for these mistakes. I'm also human, I'm not an alien, and I'm not perfect, okay? So don't blame me for these problems. Alrighty. And then over here, and if we step on this part, we're getting one stage and 10 credits. And what we do? Is if we just duplicate this part and we're just gonna put it a bit away like 55 and you change the name to 2 and you make another one and you change it to 3 and you also put that like 10 studs away and then you test it you're gonna see we're gonna go from 1 stage to 2 stage to 3 stage and that is exactly what we want so let's test this out of course because that's what we're always gonna do so, okay, so here we are. And if we go over here, stage one, 10 credits, stage two, 20 credits, stage three, stage three, uh, 30 credits. This is exactly what you want. So here you go. Um, but we're not done yet. We were gonna do more than this. A spectate system, a stages. Um, let's see what we can do more because only this this is not like the best. Did you get the point? Oh, uh, let me just see what we can do. Well, all these have like that. Uh, oh, oh, come on! Whole oh, block. Sometimes I just barely hit you. Okay. So, anyways, uh, all you wanna do is make a. Um, make a sound in workspace and just name it, just leave it as sound. And in the player handler, you can just do game handler. And then over here, you can type, um, waltz, roll, roll, waltz for do. Um, and you want to put an ID in the sound, and then you want to do just game dot workspace that sound colon play. And um, game a workspace that sound dot loop is equal to true. And uh, now what we want to do is check the like over here. It's gonna say uh, time length, and the first three digit digits. Want to uh, you want to like do that in here? So if it's like three minutes long, do one hundred and eighty. If if it shows one hundred eighty five, type one hundred eighty five. Well, you could, it's, it's like one hundred eighty five point five. Just do point five, like that. So. Um, wait, I think that's not even needed. Well, yes, it is. Well, it is needed. So, this is kind of all you want for an obby. And you can build stages, and you can do a million things you can do. So, if you enjoyed this obby tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the simulator series. And I'm probably going to do that in one video also. So, stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.